Afternoon, you're in charge of the train as far as York today. Depart one ready and it should be a clear run south. Okay, we'll do. So insert the mass key with shift and W, reverter to neutral. Reset the AWS. Reset the tilt stuff. Where it is. Reset TAS. Uh, put our headlights onto the day position. Uh, turn off the DRA with the Y key and we should be good to go. Okay, so reverse to forward, brake release, power to notch 2. So yeah, departing Darlington, the speed limit is 20 miles an hour and we have about 44 miles to York. Oh yeah, it is approved. I don't know why it does it more than once. If you press tab, and if you do it again, it normally comes up with nothing if it's approved. So yeah, we're on the um, Northeast England route available on a DP simulation. Yeah, we're just taking this pendle from Darlington to York. So you might be thinking, what's a pendle doing on the East Coast? And in actual fact, a pendle, you know, did run on the East Coast main line, but with Virgin one time. I can't remember, I can't remember why. I just know that it did. So if you search like Clathery 90 East Coast Mainline into YouTube, we'll come up with something in, re in real life. So yeah, as you've just seen in the intro cinematic, we are in the Avanti Pendolino that came with the controversial uh, West Coast Mainline South. So I'm guessing about 26 FPS with the new pendo. I'm also using the AP sound pack as well. Yeah, the windows, everyone everyone knows about that. Oh yeah, you can change the uh, destination with F7 and F8. Nope. Control 5. There we go. I haven't actually seen what we have in here. So where's the front? I just did like a loop forever. Oh yeah, we connect that right. Okay, so we have Banger, Birmingham International, Birmingham Mystery, Blackpool North, Bradford Foster Square, for some reason, Carlisle, Chester, Coventry, Crew, Depot, Doncaster, and Waverley, Glasgow Central, Hamill Hempstead, Hollyhead, Lancaster, Leeds, Liverpool Lime Street, Liverpool South Parkway, London Euston, London Kings Cross, Manchester Piccadilly, London Kings, Motherwell, Newark, Newark Northgate for some reason, Newcastle, Northampton, Brighton Service, Preston, Rugby, Skipton, Special, Warrington Bank Key, Wembley Central, Wigan Northwestern, Wolverhampton, York, and that's it. I'll just put it back to not in service. So about the sniffling, I got a bit of a blocked nose. Yeah, I think it's very interesting to see why this Pedalino has destinations on the East Coast. Very strange. Also, why does it still say VT? Like, come on, come on, the dovetail. This was obviously rushed. It's like, if you went, actually went through it, the screen on the TMS wouldn't say VT in it, and the, the destinations outside also wouldn't say VT. It would say, let's say, let's say it was, it would say something like A or something for Avanti or AW. No, not AW. Like AC, Avanti Coast. I don't know. Or maybe AV, Avanti. Speed limit is now 115. So, rail franchising has now ended after 24 years. 
Yeah, pretty much because of COVID, companies can't really keep to their keep to their franchise agreement. So the government stepped in and just axed real franchising. Because you can't you can't be expected to keep your franchise agreements if no one's using the train, or not as many people not as many people as usual. Because if the agreement says you must carry this many people in 2020, you can't do that because of COVID, so... Yeah, rail franchising has been axed. I think the way that... I might have this a bit wrong, but I think we're getting back towards nationalisation. But not completely. Speed limit is 125. Yeah, I want to make a scenario on the West Coast Mainline South between like Birmingham and Houston, but that would take ages and I don't really have a lot of time because of uni work. I mean, look, I've, already done, I've, already done, I've already done two scenarios on the West Coast Mainline South, one from Birmingham International to New Street and one from Wembley to Houston, both which are very short. I also want to make one from Tring to Houston calling at most stations in a 350. Rather, AP 350. Okay, locking speed set at 124 miles an hour. I think that's a delayed train from King's Cross to Inverness. I think. Yeah, Vanessa. One whiskey nine six. So this, this scenario is called five Zulu zero six fourteen forty Darlington to Longsight. So you might be thinking, how is gonna how's gonna get how is it gonna get to Longsight? Well. Your first answer might be you get a 57, drag it from York to Piccadilly or something, and then wait, I'll drag it from York to Longsight. But what I came up with is go up the East Coast Main Line towards Harringay, come off onto the North London and Goblin Line as far as Wilston, and then down the West Coast Main Line towards Manchester. Very long winded, but. I don't know, testing I guess. It is, it is a semi-fictional scenario. I mean, the service, the player service, is fictional, but the timetable is still real. So I based the timetable a few days ago, when I made it. Yeah, I'll put this on ATS, assuming there's nothing, nothing else to fix. There's initial section. Which works. No, no, it actually works. Going the passenger view looks really nice. Well, it's pretty much pretty much the same as the old one, except it says Avanti West Coast. That's it. Okay. Got a bit of camera. Okay. So yeah, we are in uh, 392154. So yeah, it should be 125 miles an hour all the way to York. So it's a fairly simple run. It should take about half an hour. These brakes are powerful. So the wheel, I think I put in like a train from Wrecker Central to Manchester Airport in. Because that's what that's what time tabled, that was what was time tabled to be there at the time. Uh, 
uh, Voyager to Glasgow from Bristol. Why are there TPWS grids, even though there's no signal for ages? Green, cool. Yeah, just accelerate back up to 125. So, yeah, if you want to download this for yourself, it will be available on alanthompsonsim.com. Why do I always struggle with saying that? Um, eventually. I mean, I have to, I'll, I'll have to put it up to, put it up at some point today, and then wait for a couple of days for it to be accepted or approved, as they call it. Now approaching North Allerton Station, where we join the line from Eaglescliff and Sunderland and Fedica and Middlesbrough and Hartlepool. So yeah, the one at five in front of us, the one eight five in front of us, was on the up slow, and we're going on the up fast. So we're going to overtake it very shortly. I think the speed limit, speed limit on the slow lines, I think, I think it's 75. So yeah, we have about 29 miles left. Due into York, platform 11 at 15.13. So about 20 minutes. Yeah, last time I went on a pendo was from Crew to Manchester Piccadilly. I think it was 390 002 in completely debranded Avanti livery. It wasn't really Avanti livery, it was just completely white. Like X version. Or just nothing. Yeah, it was a fairly comfortable ride, social, dis social distancing. Pretty much went out the window, like on all public transport, because how are you supposed to social, how are you supposed to social distance on a train at peak time? Like how? It doesn't make sense. People say, "Oh yeah, avoid peak times." And like, well, sometimes that's a bit unavoidable. You get about 27 FPS, so yeah. The Pendo runs smoothly, but only when you have one of them. I've also got a cat that's next to me that's wondering what to do with itself. And she's so cute. There's one of five on the left. A one Papa 76 break essential to Manchester Airport for one of two 185s. Yeah, I really can't wait for Inboots 105. I will drive it so much. Of oh, shame speeding. Four, lock that in with the speed set. Yeah, I, I like the Penlito, just not in real life because the interior stinks. Obviously, that's not something, not something that's been changed since version. Oh yeah, so yeah, also Armstrong Powerhouse is also 
Armstrong Powerhouse has also stated that they're gonna or announced they've announced that they're gonna that they're going to release the class three hundred and seven volume one in a couple of days. Couple of few weeks, days, I don't know. Station and the train to Rekka Central. So, yeah, we have 21 miles left. So, yeah, FP317, Volume 1. So, I think this will have Milk Southeast, uh, BR Blue. What else? Hopefully, FCC. So we can use it on like modern scenarios. I was saying that I think most 317s on the East Coast have been withdrawn. So I think I think they're mainly used for scenarios that were based a few years ago and not now. Why are not so funny? So yeah, next station will be York, where this scenario ends, and the video as well. So yeah, I think Volume 2, Volume 2 might cover the more other units, like the ones on the overground, and Greater Anglia. Yeah, look, really looking forward to it. Although I'm not sure if I'll buy it because it's a unit that isn't really used that much anymore on the East Coast. Maybe I need it for like scenario requirements. And hopefully I have all the requirements for the included scenarios. I think the included scenarios might be on like the East Coast Mainline South. And I, therefore I think I should have everything. I don't know, AP will release more information soon about liveries and price and things. So yeah, yesterday, uh, today is like Tuesday, and today's Wednesday. Yesterday I went to Victoria to go to uni to do some work because I can't work from home because I, I, I end up getting distracted easily and not doing any work. Well, uni work. So I just went into uni to do some work, you know, social distance and everything. And on the way there, in platform 2 at Victoria, I saw a 150 2 which is one of the prototype sprinters from the, I think it was 1982 or something. Like the early 80s. So pretty much, because GWR has kind of had a shovel with a stock, um, 150s, most of the sprinters aren't really needed. So that means sent up north to Newton Heath, which includes 150-001 and 150-002. And I saw it, and I saw 150-002 at Victoria with a train to Blackburn via Rochdale. It's a really cool unit. It's very strange to see a class 150 made of three coaches without a driving car in the middle. I think it was the 904 to Blackburn via Tolbridge. Because normally the trains from Victoria to Blackburn via Tolbridge normally start at Southport or Wigan, but because of COVID, it's being cut back to Victoria. So.
think I saw it, I think I saw it the day before that in Newton Heath. Or maybe the Saturday before it. When I went to Liverpool to see a tornado. So we have a 30 FPS counter. Count. Yeah, if I could actually English, that'd be great. Let's just do another flyby, because flybys are cool. Yeah, sorry about the sniffing. I don't know why I have a rock nose. So yeah, we have about 11 miles left. So far, I've managed to chart my way through nothing, pretty much. I think we're, I think we're coming up on Tolerton Junction. There's some sightings on the left with some stuff. Yeah, next the next junction should be Skeleton Junction, where the line kind of rejigs itself. So instead of having slow, fast, fast, slow, we have fast, fast, and slow, slow. If that makes sense. This is also the place where I saw the four generations. Four trains, four generations event. I think it was three years ago. Pretty much what happened: you have Flying Scotsman and a Zuma 91 and a HT lined up next to each other on the East Coast Main Line around here, and then they ran together into York. It was really cool. Yeah, they were meant to be running parallel with each other, but that didn't really last because the Zuma shot off first towards York. Then the 91, then the HST, and then Flying Scotsman. I think it was like that. I think the only reason it happened was because the East Coast Main Line north of Tolton was closed. So he couldn't really run trains, so it was a perfect time to do it. It was, it was also like 7 in the morning because of... Once the engine works had finished, you kind of have to run trains, you know. So I had to get up, get up at like 4 a.m. and then go to York to stand to stand in a field. So far, I'm really enjoying this scenario. Lots of AI, kind of. De decent weather, like the... Oh yeah, the AP weather pack does work on here. The AP weather does work on here. The track is the Trent Valley track because the route is that old. Uh, 182 Sutherland. I think, I think that's the train that I drove on Monday. 1 November 93 from Kings Cross to Sunderland, and I drove it between um, Northallerton and Hartlepool. Yep, the 
can see is it's Skeleton Junction. See, there's a bridge coming up. I've actually stood on that bridge watching all the trains go past from the event. Train to Edinburgh. That's running late for some reason. See, with the, with the Flyers Gossman, you had Flyers Gossman on the front, then some Mark 1 coaches, and then a Delta on the end. Slow down to 60, to the, there's a neutral section. Bit of lag as we. I think the game is trying to load in um, York. Line from the line from the right joins from. Um, <coughs> sorry, joins from Leeds via Harrogate. So just some, just some issues like call hoppers on the right. I really should put in the branding, but I kind of forgot. Yeah, I, I have a cat that doesn't. I have a cat that doesn't really know know what to do with itself or herself. I'm like, we have a single yellow, which means we're gonna wait outside York for a bit. I'm not sure if I should have isolated tilt. Oh well. I mean, the East, Coast, the East Coast Main Line is pretty. It's, the East Coast Main Line here is pretty straight, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, it just has like tilt. So, yeah, on the right is a bunch of sidings that I don't know if I use at all. Then, immediately after the right, we like the. Bit further right is, I think it's York Siemens Depot, and then way to the right, <laughs> then way to the right is the National Rail Museum, which I've been to multiple times. Yeah, it's very good. Lots of steam engines and old relics of the railway's past. I think I think in the Great Hall you have multiple different engines, like like multiple steam engines from history. You have uh, I think one of the driving one of the driving vehicles of the Shinkansen, um, a mock up of the three seven three seven three, the Eurostar, uh, thirty one Mallard, I think. I think Mallard I think Mallard has been moved to Shielden. What else do you have? Oh no, it's been ages since it's been ages since I've been there. I wonder, if it's, I wonder if it's still open because of COVID. So yeah, the danger aspect. Danger aspect is just up ahead. Around this corner. Yeah, just gonna just gonna um, crawl up to it. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't break too easily, but I don't I don't want to uh, I don't want to speed up and then immediately slow down. So yeah, we're just, we're just gonna crawl towards it and take a take a look, take a look at the pendo. We seem to get a thumbnail shot. An A02 for uh, Newcastle from Liverpool. Do 
Yeah, we have yellow cleared into platform one. Yeah, I think, that, I think that's my, it's meant to say 11, but you know. Platform one is a bay platform facing the other way. So, to take up, to take up the platform one, you have to reverse at the other end of the station. Yeah, speed limit is speed limit is fifty. Pretty, pretty sure it goes down to thirty, which for some reason it doesn't show on the hood. So yeah, approaching York. So that line from the line from the left joins from Scarborough. On the right is the National Rail Museum. So yeah, arriving into York. Aiming to stop at the aiming to stop at the end of the platform. Well, if the train fits. So this is the end of the video, so thank you so much for watching, uh, subscribe for more train sim content, like the video if you're so inclined, uh, comment something if you want to say something, uh, follow me on Twitter for future video updates, join my Discord server for screenshots and chat about trains and things. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video, we should be on the 5 circle. From Gun Rolls to Edinburgh in over 70. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. So, arrival at York.